Hi, I'm Susan Leggett, and I'm a landscape painter. I paint in oil. Um, I have to say, I think I knew at a very, very early age, like around three or four years old, that I, I was an artist at heart. And it was always something I loved to do, whether it was coloring or drawing, all through grammar school, and then in, in, on through high school, I actually um, got into silversmithing in high school. We had a really great program. So I've always been very, very creative, and uh, it's always kind of been in my, in my, uh, in my heart. Um, I started, well, I got a fine arts degree in college and uh, went on to have a career and still have a career in graphic design. Um, but about 20 years ago, I started painting seriously, um, took some classes, and got back into uh, exploring painting and found that I really love to do landscapes. Um, then about 15, 16 years ago, I went on a painting retreat to Maine and have been doing so ever since. I go up every year for at least a week. Sometimes I go twice a year. And I just immerse myself in painting and in the landscape. Um, I'm very, very, very drawn to the coast of Maine. Uh, when I'm there, I feel an enormous sense of peace and serenity and beauty. Um, and that's probably why I just keep going back year after year. And that has become the subject of most of my work. Um, I had an epiphany the very first year I went to Maine. Uh, I don't think I'd ever really felt it before, but I was out by myself. Um, on this beautiful inlet, and I was painting this rocky scene. And at the time, I wasn't a very good painter. I still needed to hone my skills and do a lot of practicing. But I was out there, and it was just this overwhelming feeling came over me of incredible peace. And, and it was a feeling of love. And I did these two paintings at that time, and I still have those two paintings. They're hanging up in my house. And something shifted in me that day. It was, uh, I really can't describe it, but it was a very spiritual uh, feeling. Very, very moved that day. Um, and ever since then, I haven't looked back. I continued to practice on different mediums, uh, painting oil on handmade paper, which I would uh, apply gesso to. Uh, I did a, a a large series of work that way. Um, I actually went into painting uh, abstracts, um, very large abstract paintings. I had a show about four years ago at uh, the Watershed Gallery up in Ridgefield. Um, and then I went through sort of a shift in my life, um, a divorce. And uh, I didn't paint for two years. I was just recovering. I was just in a fog, I don't know what, what you call it, but I was just not in any kind of shape where I wanted to just paint or be creative. What I did was um, I was asked to be a judge at a show for the Old Greenwich uh, Art Society. And I went there, and there was the most beautiful little watercolor. It was very, very sparse. It was very minimal. And the lines were just, just a few brush strokes, but it was a landscape. And I was just blown away by this small piece of art. And it inspired me to get back to painting. And so when I started this series, um, almost two years ago, I just tried to not emul emulate that, but I tried to capture that feeling that I got from that painting, just this feeling of serenity and simplicity. And this whole series, I, as, you, as you will notice, I don't paint the sky and I don't paint the water. Um, I'll do a little bit of reflection in the water. Um, but I leave those two parts empty, and I just focus on the actual landscape. Um, my goal when I first started was just to keep everything very, very simple simple and meditative. And I, I'll be honest, when I'm painting these, I, I, 
I work from sketches. I don't work from photographs, or I'll paint. Um, I'll paint on site, but mostly I'll just do sketches while I'm out in the field, and then paint from those sketches. But I don't even think about it. It just kind of flows out of me, and it's almost like I'm meditating when I'm painting. And people have said that when they look at my work, they feel this calmness and this serenity in the work. And uh, that's sort of how I feel when I'm painting. And it's really not a goal, but it just sort of happens that way when I, when I do produce these paintings. It, it just sort of uh, comes out that way. Um, and I just work at distilling the landscape more and more, uh, if I can, and keeping that simplicity. Uh, you'll notice these are very monochromatic. Um, right now, I'm in the studio. I'm working on adding more color, um, a little more vibrancy. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's part of my recovery. I'm getting happier and wanting to add more color. Um, and, uh, but that's, it's kind of been a real personal journey, uh, almost like a journal, like journaling through my paintings um, of what's happening in my life. So, thank you. Rosalind? Um, Susan, do you, um, is it intentional how all three pieces converge in the center of the canvas from the top and the bottom as well? Were you planning that for this series? That's what I, I paint a lot of, no, the answer to that is no. Um, I paint a lot of marsh scenes and they're tidal marshes, so the tide's always going in and out. So it forms these, almost, it almost looks like a river but it's actually a tidal stream. And it just sort of lends itself from a design, design standpoint to kind of draw you in. Um, it just so happens that these particular paintings are, are similar in layout. Um, they work so well together. But thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. David. So I'm fascinated by the sizes of your work. Um, mm. And I've seen your really small pieces, which do have this magical power of really drawing you in. Mm -hmm. How conscious are you of the sizes, and how do you choose the sizes on a given day? The I love to paint small. Um, the smaller I paint, believe it or not, the more detail I get in this work. Um, I just was in a show up in Bedford, New York, and I actually won an award for a tiny one, little six by six inch. And it was just, I just seemed to be able to get a lot of detail. And I, and I use a reductive technique where I just apply the paint kind of thickly, and then I start to pull it away. And uh, you know, the brush, brush strokes and whatnot, I, the, the older and more stiff the brush, the better for me. Because um, that's the way I can get you know, a lot of detail with the, uh, with the grasses and you know, kind of etching out certain things. But, I love to paint small. Um, I shouldn't say this, but these, I, I, I can do a lot of them quickly. They're, it's a very, a very fast technique, and I think that lends itself to me because I get bored easily. So, um, but yeah, I, I intend to stay small and just do a lot. I've, I am, I've of course been pressured by designer, you know, interior designers and decorators saying, oh, we want, we want them big, but, um, I've tried painting these larger, and I'll continue to work in that direction. But yeah, they're small. My little babies. <laughs> well, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.